I think it's pretty safe to say that when we look at Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, there's a mixed fan base right now, there's a lot of people who love the movie, and there's also a lot of people who hate the movie, and a lot of people are very curious about the future of the Star Wars franchise by Disney and Lucasfilm. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one thing about Disney and Lucasfilm is that we do know that they're very busy at this point right now on developing the future of the Star Wars franchise beyond Episode 9, beyond the sequel trilogy and the Skywalker saga. And this really is a very difficult time for them. Even Kathleen Kennedy said a couple of weeks ago that developing these new movies is going to be a big challenge because they're not really relying on the Skywalkers or any type of nostalgia per se that the general audience really knows about. You know, pretty much everybody knows about Luke Skywalker, Yoda, or, you know, certain characters around those lines. Now, with that being said, as we move forward into the month of January and getting closer to February, we're going to be learning more about this new trilogy of films, these three new Star Wars movies that are slated for release in the early 2020s. And what's rather exciting by Disney is that they're going to make this movie heavily based on Star Wars Legends material, However, there will be elements in these new Star Wars movies that are actually going to change Star Wars lore as we know it. Now, without a doubt, this is a big risk by them because this is exploring a different era that we have never seen before in the Star Wars franchise. Now, with that being said, what's rather intriguing is that it's explained that both Disney and Lucasfilm are currently focused on Disney Plus and their set of three new Star Wars films to come in the future that will serve as a brand new series of movies throughout the 2020s. It said that they are currently in the planning stages of the three movies and are going to announce its first director very soon this month of January. The plan by Lucasfilm for these three new Star Wars movies is to change the franchise by reinventing the legacy of the Jedi and the Sith, as well as introducing brand new Dark Side Warriors. It said that this new series will tap into the prophecy of the Chosen One and brand new truths about the prophecy of Anakin Skywalker that will have an impact on the Skywalker Saga. It was Bob Iger's idea to develop loose connections to the Skywalker Saga for this new Star Wars film, and that they are looking for ways to make these new Star Wars movies to change how fans view the Jedi by introducing never-before-seen Jedi lore that has never been explored in Star Wars canon or Legends material. Now, this plan by Disney and Lucasfilm is to make a series of films that will change the Skywalker saga and how fans will view the Jedi and the Sith, and will also explore the secrets of why the Jedi and the Sith split in the first place. Now, unlike the sequel trilogy, these new Star Wars films will heavily be focused on multiple Jedi that will uncover new secrets about the Sith that will reshape the Star Wars mythology. It's Disney's plan for these new Star Wars films to have a massive impact on the lore of the franchise, while at the same exact time, true to Star Wars Legends material and tweaking it to create an original story for fans around the world. Now, the films are said to have an adventurous format, very similar to how it was done in the prequel trilogy, and that these movies will have a similar tone to the prequels by George Lucas. Now, the thing about these new Star Wars movies, in case you guys did not know, obviously they want to explore new Jedi lore that's going to change how we view the Jedi and the Sith in the prequels, the originals, and now the sequel trilogy. Now, the thing about this, alright, is that they are going to come up with a big plan for what these movies are going to consist of by the very end of this month leading into February. And it's going to be a very interesting year because we're going to hear a lot about this fourth trilogy. The production starts very, very soon. In fact, we're just weeks away from when they're going to obtain their writers and the script's going to be written and we're going to learn more about this. The thing that I'm very excited about is that this movie is going to be centered mainly on Jedi. Multiple Jedi, so to speak. So unlike with the sequel trilogy and even the originals... You know, the Jedi were extinct, right? We didn't really have a lot of Jedi in there. We had Luke training to become one. Yoda was the master, you know, for a majority in the originals as well as Obi-Wan. But for the most part, we did not have, you know, dozens upon dozens of Jedi or anything like that. We had, you know, at that time, a handful. Now, these new Star Wars films are going to deal with brand new Star Wars lore that's going to literally reinvent the Jedi way and the Jedi lore and how we view the Jedi mythology. And I think that's going to be a very interesting side by Disney. Hopefully they don't mess things up or change things to the point where it's going to be a negative thing for the Star Wars fans. The only thing that worries me about this is the fact that they are going into a brand new era that we have never seen before on the big screen. 
and exploring the Jedi themselves. I think that this could have something to do with the possibility of this being based either in the future or maybe even in the past in a different era that we have never actually seen before in Star Wars Legends or canon material. Because they're actually going to be exploring new types of Star Wars lore that has also never been uncovered in the canon or Legends content by Disney and Lucasfilm. Now, the thing about this, guys, like I say, very excited for what's to come for this new trilogy, for these new Star Wars series, if you will, these three new Star Wars movies. Very excited for it all. I would really love to hear what each and every one of you have to say about this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. <laughs>